Today we'll be starting next topic, reporting and analysis in inventory management. So the topics that we're going to cover today, they are use different list to analyze stock, analyze documents created during goods movements and periodic evaluation and its purpose. So we'll start with the business example, then uh, that where you need these uh, reporting in inventory. So inventory management contains several analysis that help you monitor your stock situations and track warehouse movements. You require an overview of the stock situation of your materials so that you are aware of different lists in the SAP system. This lesson provides an overview of the available reports for stock and documents. So analysis of inventory management. So the reporting side of inventory management has been divided into basically two parts. So your first part is your list display. Okay, so what this display is, where we want to analyze uh, different types of documents. For example, it can be a material document, that material document created during the goods received, goods issue, things like that, and the accounting documents that are created during the goods received, goods issue, or while using MyGo transaction or doing the invoice receipt. So here you can see material documents, accounting documents, cancel documents, and some other stuff that we'll see in today's class. The other category of the reporting is stock, where we would like to see stock depending on different criteria. For example, we want to see the stock for each individual material, or you want to have a report for a lot of material within a plant to see the stock of several materials, or you want to see the stock for a plant only, you want to see the stock for a storage location, you want to see the um, stock for a warehouse as well. So here we'll start with first one list display, which is all about uh, seeing the reporting for the documents. So document list. So these are the few transactions. So some of the transactions we already use in our previous classes, and there's some extra transactions here as well. So we'll be going through these transactions today. So first is the list of material document MB51. And then we have accounting documents for material. Then we have archived material documents MB, MBAL, cancel material documents, material documents with reason for movements and stuff like that. So I'll be going through these reports here now. So first is MB51. So we have used this MB51 transaction to see the movement types many times earlier. So here, if you, you can directly go to MB51 or you can go to logistics, um, material management, inventory management, and here you can go to environment, and here you can see list display. So MB51, if you open MB51 material document, so this transaction basically, for example, I want to see the all the material documents created for this material within this plant. You can also filter by customer, vendor, movement type, things like that. But if you want to see everything, just execute that here. So here you can see these are the different document types created during different transaction. Okay, so here you can see what dates and uh, document number, material document number, movement type here, and whether the stock was taken away or added. If anything was taken away, that will be in red and negative. If anything is added to the stock, that means goods received, that will be green and positive. So you can double click on any of the document and you can jump to that material document display screen. So here is a document that's a details you can see. So if I go back now, Second one is MR51. So if you go to MR51, MR51 is for accounting document for materials. Okay, as you know that when you do the goods received, 
then also the accounting documents are created so if you if you go to mr51 execute for this material so here you can see these are the accounting documents created okay again negative stock and positive stock it's shown in the red and green lights and the dollar value accordingly so you can again double click on any document and you can jump to that document so that's a accounting document that was created then we have mbal archived material documents okay so if i open this one so archived is as the name is saying archived is like in real time scenario um, after so many years what company will do they will just to clear the database clear the system have a better data what they do is they they archive the documents created say 10 years before five years before that we showed that we're not going to use it anymore okay so those type of documents if i execute that you can see that here okay so if i execute that for everything there might be some in this system so it will show you some documents here okay so you can double click on any document and it will take you to that one okay so maybe this is just the dummy one here so you can see the dates are very old so that transaction you can see for archived material documents and then you have the cancel material documents if i want to analyze if i'm the boss in a company and i want to see that what people are doing and uh, how many documents they are canceling how often they cancel uh, why they cancel then i want to analyze why they're wasting time in canceling and whether they need training or what they're doing then i can double click on mbsm transaction and i can for example i can search for everything okay within a plant if i enter the plant as well and you can filter by username for example if i say my name i want to see how much how many documents were cancelled by this person i can execute and you can see there are two documents here okay so any person can analyze um cancel document within the system so if i execute for you can or everything within the plant so you can see there are these documents that are cancelled okay so here you can see as well that um that's a document number here on the left hand side that's a blue one that's a material document for the cancellation and on the right hand side there's a document basically which was cancelled so five zero 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 something six ten is the original document and the cancel doc cancel document is six one one so you can put the cursor here click on that it will take you to that screen for the cancel document and the movement types everything you can see here and then we have reason for movement now what reason of movement is as you remember that in some of the transaction uh, when you're doing the goods receipts or doing transfer posting things are that system will ask you to give me a reason for the movement depending on what movement type you're using okay so here if i run for everything within this plant thousand if i execute that it will give you the reason for reason that was entered okay so if i want to analyze for specific movement type for example i want to analyze for a um there's no filter for movement type but i can analyze for vendor for example or a posting date so if i execute that so here i can see that why what was the reason for movement for the document so here you can see poor quality poor quality poor quality if i scroll down if i scroll down so there's so many documents with the poor quality here but can be something else as well so these these entries were done when somebody created this document and it was mandatory to um, enter the uh, reason for movement if i double click on this one let me go back so here is a document you can see so somebody i think i created this one yeah you can see my name here so i created this one a while back and i, I don't know what i was doing so i used 122 trans, uh, movement type and this movement type i believe is asking for reason as a mandatory field so that's why i entered this field so you can analyze using this transaction about the um, reason for movement trans, uh, within a transaction in real time environment 
this you will use very unlikely okay 